Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Beyond. I am in the Sanofi KU-F B44-4 system. And there it is on the screen. It is the residence of the Guardian Beacon that has been uncovered with the 3.2 Chapter 3 update of Beyond. Now, this Guardian Beacon does represent a new in-game artifact and gives you a nice set piece. And there you can see it all in system, dormant. It's been laying there for years, but I bet you've had a right pounding over the past couple of hours. Anyway, so this Guardian Beacon, you approach it, it's all dead and derelict. As soon as you get close, these pylons start coming to life. And there's three of these around the main structure. Looking at the structure, it's a nice place to be. You know, it's very, it's full of atmosphere. It's very, you know, it's in tune with the other Guardian tech that we've seen in the planets. I think, personally. You've got that quintessential sort of like um, cyan detailing or aquamarine detailing around, um, around the entire structure. It's very angular. It looks like someone's just plucked it directly off a Guardian planet, plonked it in space. Guardian tech, you know, you, you cannot, seeing it here, there's no way you can not distinguish that as being Guardian. Now, of course, when the um, trailer came out, we thought, well, is it a capital ship? Is it a space station? Is it something else? And obviously we now know it's a beacon. So here are the pylons. And the pylons have got a nice glowy bit of light coming out of them. And you can tell that even though these pylons come up, and if you try and focus them with your, your ship scanner, they come up as private, shooting them will activate them. Just like we've shot the pylons on the planet's surface at the Guardian Ruins, um, and those Guardian sites where we, we, we've got additional blueprints, here, exactly the same. You go over to the Guardian Energy Pylon, get the lasers out, get your mini guns out, whatever you're gonna shoot it with, shoot it. Give it a good shooting, it activates. Activate them all. This main structure's gonna activate. Once you've activated the main structure, you're gonna scan it. Once after you scan it, you're gonna pick up an ancient key. And we're gonna go through the whole process now. So here we go, see so we're lining up. We can see the other pylons in the distance as well. Again, energy pylon coming up as private. They could have put something a little bit different in there, personally. As you can see from the outside, the main beacon structure, you know, it's a nice place to be. And we don't say this enough to Frontier, but well done. Well done in my eyes. Graphically, visually stunning. A real nice in-game set piece that you're gonna revisit over and over and over again to get more Guardian blueprints. And I think it's a really good place and a good way of getting those blueprints as opposed to just going to a planet and grinding away. Different type of grind though, you're gonna have to go out here, go to this space station, go through this, I suppose, little palava, um, activate the beacon, get beacon, get the key, off you go to the new Guardian site, job done. So, there you go, that's my views on it. I think it's nice, I think it's great. What do you think? Put it in the comments. Interested to hear your thoughts on this and whether you think this, this aspect, what it adds to the game. I mean, I think it adds a little bit of depth, not a lot, but you know, it's an in-game artifact, like I said, which I think um, is beneficial to the entire Guardian process. And it does tell a good story. So shooting that main pylon um, activates it. Activate the remaining two pylons and the central structure is gonna activate it as, is that gonna activate as well. And then all holy hell breaks loose for another set piece. I'm using this beam laser I've got kitted into the into the ASP. Again, say so once it's all charged, you know, it all activates and you go through the same process on every pylon. Now these beacons hardly represent that much of a challenging puzzle. I mean, it wasn't too much of a stretch to go around and say, hey, we're gonna shoot these and it's, it's gonna activate. Now, as we can see, the beacon is waking up all that electrical sort of charged light and look at that as a set piece now this to me speaks of ghostbusters that sort of emanating wave of energy from the center but then it also speaks to me really from independence day terrible film and the second one was absolutely horrendous but 
all a bit good fun, tongue in cheek. But that sort of alien weapon, you know? I don't know, I see that there. And of course you've got an orb that you can interact with. You can get over there and scan. Now when scanning this orb, be very careful. Don't get too close because it'll attract back into the main body of the beacon and you could find yourself trapped and incur a little bit of damage. But you can get within scanner range, you know, 300 meters or that sort of, that sort of area, right? Scan it, hey, why not? Once you've done all that, the entire system's gonna close up so back off, uh, make sure you've got some cargo space as well because it's then going to furnish you with a Guardian Ancient Key which you can then use back at the new Guardian sites to candor more blueprints. Now as this entire pylon and beacon has come to life, you see we've scanned it, it's starting to, you know, close up again now. We've still got that electrical discharge around, things are starting to rotate constrict themselves back into their former form and again it's a great set piece in game what all this serves nothing but it, it, it's a visual treat and i think you know sometimes we get lost in in the spec the spectacle that is elite dangerous it's a very graphically wonderful game and here you can see this is the ancient guardian key that has now been released after you've shot the pylons you've scanned the orb you've escaped the thing constricting back on itself you're going to go over there you're going to get your um, cargo scoop out you're going to scoop it up now i had a bit of trouble doing that that might have just be me because i was trying to do a video at the same time and things were happening but you know you can knock it off its little pedestal in the center of this um in the center of this beacon and then make it a little bit easier for you to pick up. Um, I found it quite difficult to pick up, especially in the ASP um, at this stage, but knocking it out into, you know, just away from the main structure, I was able to scoop that up um, with very little trouble. Now, as we mentioned, this ancient key is what's gonna be used to unlock more blueprints when you get to the Guardian sites that have now been discovered also in the Sanufi uh, region of space and I'll be covering those in another video. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Ricardo and this has been the Guardian Beacon that has been included in the game in Elite Dangerous Beyond Chapter 3. Uh, the beacon, like I've said, is a great set piece. Um, shoot the pylons, scan that orb, pick up the key, off you go to the Guardian sites and do a little bit of Guardian grinding. Um, there's more than likely going to be another patch to come with this update, with it, 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 they start to fix certain aspects in the game. A lot of people were talking about that on the streams, but anyway, we'll cover that in other videos. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, click that like and subscribe button. It's really important to people on YouTube as well, uh, so I can continue to make some top quality content for you, or just quality content for you, who's saying it's top. Um, also look for that notification icon as well, and ring that notification bell, and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos. Of Elite Dangerous, They Are Billions, well, what else am I playing? Uh, Subnautica, No Man's Sky, oh, I'm playing a bit of No Man's Sky, Frostpunk, really good game. So, like and subscribe, hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification icon, ring that bell, that will let you know when new stuff's coming out, and I'll leave you a little bit more of a graphical, a graphical feast of the beacon coming to life, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.